hey everyone so uh, before callbacks let's quickly discuss uh, about functions in js first okay uh, so obviously there is a lot to discuss about functions but to understand callbacks uh, just keep these two points uh, in your mind uh, the first one is uh, functions are first class citizens in js okay uh, so by first class citizenship what we mean is in short uh, functions are actually value or data is stored in memory like any other data that we have like numbers string or objects okay uh, so uh, since uh, functions are data so what we can do is we can assign them to any variable we can pass them as an argument to any other function we can return uh, them from a function as well okay uh, so the second point is uh, the functions are actually objects in javascript okay uh, callable because we can call the functions as well to execute the code part okay uh, so uh, to summarize uh, these two points what we can say is functions are callable objects stored in memory okay uh, so this makes functions very powerful in uh, js actually and functions are one of the building blocks of uh, javascript okay uh, so now come to callbacks what are callbacks uh, callbacks are uh, nothing but the function which we pass as argument to uh, any other function okay so this we have mentioned in point number two here as well okay so since uh, functions are objects so we can pass them as an argument to any other function we call those function as callbacks so let's see this uh, with code also so i have opened uh, the dev tool here uh, let me clear the console first and refresh it so this is the snippet i have opened so if you are not seeing this option you can click these two arrows you will get uh, the snippet option here from here you can open it okay so first uh, let's uh, test that functions are object okay so what we can do is we can create a test function here and uh, okay. we can keep the body empty so uh, what we can do is we can uh, assign a property to it okay uh, like this p is equal to uh, console.log and we can access the property also so if we run this now we will get high here so this uh, is similar to the objects uh, we have okay so now move to move on to the callbacks let's create a function test so let's create greet this time and it accepts a callback function as a a parameter okay so first uh, let's create uh, uh, our callback then we will uh, write the body part of greet okay so function callback uh, just simply return a thing from this uh, i am callback callback okay so now what we can do is we can call the greet function with callback as an argument so what will happen uh, so now here what we can do is we are receiving callback uh, function cb as a callback function as a parameter so what we can do is we can simply store the value returned by the callback function and we can call it so where we, here when we will call this callback function now it will execute this function body and it will return this string and we can store this uh, in this message variable and simply console.log message okay so let's run this so we got this string i am callback so what uh, what we can see here is uh, we have passed a callback function as a uh, argument to this greet function which accepts it as a parameter and calls it okay so uh, if you have noticed that the callback name also justifies its behavior actually uh, uh, because uh, the callback that we create now uh, it uh, we don't call it instantaneously we pass it to any other function and that other function calls it back 
so for example here we have defined the callback function and we have passed this callback function to greet okay and greet uh, has called it like in its body so greet has called it back okay uh, so hope this is making some sense uh, so uh, one thing more it's not uh, always necessary that you have to create this function separately uh, and pass uh, this uh, as a callback you can directly pass function here we call this as anonymous function okay so we can comment this out and it will uh, behaves in similar manner okay if we run this what will happen is i am callback okay we got this so now uh, let's see uh, this callback in action with the inbuilt function set timeout uh, which is provided to us by the browser okay so if we see set timeout now set timeout it accepts two parameters first one is a callback function and second one is a timer so let's pass a callback function here console dot log high just simply log high and second parameter just pass two seconds here okay so what the set timeout will do is it will accept it will accept the first parameter our callback and a timer and it will call our callback that we have passed after two seconds okay so if we run this what will happen uh, after two seconds hi gets locked so ignore this two number actually it's returned by this set timeout so it changes every time we run our code set timeout so if you run again so three get loud and but this body gets executed after two seconds okay uh, so uh, lastly like i have mentioned argument and parameter multiple times uh, so what is the difference between them so let's take an example to understand that let's create a function test it accepts a parameter name so the variable that we define during the function definition when we define the function like name here we call it as parameter and the value for this that we pass during function invocation we call it as argument okay so for example if i call this test function here with gaurav here so gaurav the actual actual value that we have passed is argument and the placeholder for it uh, that we defined during function definition is called parameter okay so that's it uh, for now oh, thanks for watching